morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for tuning in to us this morning. Remember, our theme for this year is... That's right. Fear not. Fear not because the God we serve is mightier than anyone else. Now, let us look at our... Scripture for this morning is Isaiah 51, verse 7. It says, Hear me, you who know what is right, you people who have taken my instruction to heart. Do not fear the reproach of mere mortals, hallelujah, or be terrified by their insults. So let's just bring up that, uh, that scripture right now. Oops. Let me just bring it back up. Isaiah 51. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Bible Gateway. New Living Translation. Hallelujah. Let's start from verse 1. He says, Listen to me, all who hope for deliverance, all who seek the Lord. Consider the rock from which you were cut, the quarry from which you were mined. Yeah, think about Abraham, your ancestor, and Sarah, who gave birth to your nation. Abraham was only one man when I called him, but I blessed him, and he became a great nation. The Lord will comfort Israel again and have pity on our ruins. Her, des her desert will blossom like Eden, her barren wilderness like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found there, and songs of thanksgiving will fill the air. Listen to me, my people. Hear me, Israel, for my law will be proclaimed and my justice will become a light to the nations. My mercy and justice are coming soon. My salvation is on the way. My strong arm will bring justice to the nations. All distant lands will look to me and wait in hope for my powerful arm. Verse 6, look up to the skies above and gaze down on the earth below, for the skies will disappear like smoke. And the earth wear out like a piece of clothing. The people of the earth will die like flies, but my salvation lasts forever. My righteous rule will never end. Listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your heart. Do not be afraid of people's scorns, nor fear their insults. For the moth will devour them as it devours clothing, and the worm will eat at them as it eats wool. But my righteousness will last forever. And my salvation will continue from generation to generation. Hallelujah. So our affirmation for today is, I will not be afraid of the mockers of my faith, nor terrified of their insults, because the righteousness of my God is near. Now, you know, sometimes you're having faith for something and people will just um, mock you because you're having faith and they don't see it manifested yet. And all these years you believe in God for this thing, but it's not happening and they will tease you. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Long as you keep the Lord's instructions to, in your heart and you know what is right, you just trust God. He says, do not be afraid of mere mortals or be terrified by their insults. You have a wonderful wonderful day.